Hi guys, it's Derek with Diamonds. I know it's been a while. So, today we are doing a whipping chat. But, while we're doing a whipping chat, I... Give me one second. I'm still trying to get my painting in focus here. Okay. And I don't want to. Give me one second here, guys. I almost have it where I want it. So I'm going to put you up. Up in the clouds. Okay. See, I don't want to. There. So, before we get started, um, I just found out I won one of TJ's pins again. And if you don't know, I actually have. Give me one second. I have this one I won. It's absolutely gorgeous. I won this one. This was my first win. Um, and you notice, there's nothing in my pen yet. So we're talking about wax today too. So I'm gonna we're going to attempt to do patty wax today. Um, so the pen I won was Coral Reef. I love the oranges and the greens in it. <clears throat> so, but we're going to fill the multi-placer first. And the multi-placer I am going to use, I'm going to be ordering some soon, Randa's Crafty Corner. She makes scented putty as well as, um... <clears throat> What's the word I'm looking for? <sighs> Wax. Wow, my brain kind of went all over the place, guys. So are you guys excited for the Michael Jelena thought? I kind of am. Kind of ain't because I got to pause on Pride. And you see, I haven't gotten very far. Um, so... What, I'm, what I like about her putty is you don't really need to do the whole rolly rolly thing. Just wiggle and and there you go. Um, her putty is pretty sticky. So what I do is I take my tweezers the end of them and I stuff it um, and I believe I'm getting another set of forever tips I don't like using them because I'm not a fan but we're gonna attempt that today too um, so we're gonna talk a little little about you know my life right now well, if y'all don't already know, I have been doing an event called Unicorns and Rainbows. So, I did do my very last two giveaways, and that was all types of extra guys. Oh my gosh. Um, let's see if I wrote her name down. Well, Cindy Lee, she won Take Flight, and Single in Placing won Meditation Squares, which was the biggest canvas, and these canvases are Diamond Art Club. Um, Meditation Squares is quite a new kit. It's not that old. Um...
but I'm like, okay. Yes, um, her her putty, it takes a while to fill the multi-placer, but it lasts a while. So now, here is Ginger Fit Orange, Ginger Fizz. Okay, first. I'm gonna zoom you in first, back up, but we're gonna be down here. So this is Ginger, the Orange Ginger Fizz by Patty Wax. So let me put you up a little bit actually do this there we go better so this is orange ginger fizz by patty wax ss patty wax so all you do is scrape the wax and what i do is i take my tweezers yes my pointy pointy tweezers that's how i use them Especially the forever tips do not like the patty wax. So we are going to scrape it again because it takes a lot for the. You see how it just kind of comes out in strings? It, makes it pretty easy to fill so I haven't been really doing a whole lot with my channel I gotta get back into the routine so you take tweezers and just cuz the forever tips are so deep I think that pin should be done. So I have another pin shop I do buy from. Like you probably already know my top two is the TJ pins, but that's a drop, so that's not really a shop. Enablers Outpost. Let me grab one of their pins. This is Enablers, my favorite Enablers Outpost pen. Um. I am going to be ordering um, the rose gold single placer tips as I still like these. Um, I'm still having issues trying to multi place with the forever tips. So that's an enablers outpost pen. Here's my other shop, Diamond Pen Pal they make the roll stop pins and this is what they mean it's not rolling anywhere because one part of the pin is flat and the rest of it is not and I love it because it just you could roll it and it falls right back these pins <clears throat> are perfect for if you have a craft table that you tilt because then All you do is take your bar and get these off. Give me one second, guys. I'm back guys I needed a refill with my coffee so <clears throat> see this bar I haven't tilted my table in a long time I don't like tilting it because I really don't have no place to put everything but uh you put this bar 
pretty much at the bottom. If you have a lip, all you do is you can actually probably put it under your diamond painting. And then this is going to sit like this. And it won't move. That's the whole purpose of the roll stops. So, what were we doing? Okay. Got one pin filled. I try to fill in two pins at a time so that it's just easier. So, we're going to do my other TJ pen. This pen is okay. I don't like the wood pins. Now, off to do some more putty. I'll show you, see? Oh, didn't come up like the other one did. It's not going out. So when that happens, I do. You're just gonna roll it. Stuff it. Stuff it. And her putty is very forgiving. That's what I like about her putty. I'm a heavy placer, but I'm going to start trying to train myself to use to be a little bit more gentle when I diamond paint. Grab a little bit more. We'll test out our theory here. See if it works. This putty I've had for about a year. So, my two favorite pins are filled. I'm going to put the diamond pin, pal pin back. We'll leave this out. And I'm going to show you how I've had these for about a year. This one, I still have plenty in it. <clears throat> and this is the other one. So, yeah. I still have quite a bit. I don't like her bags, because they do not open well for me. So, uh, my cat's being a little suspicious because the door is closed. I'm um, gonna show you my other patty wax that I got. This, I haven't figured out how to use it yet. I've tried, by what you can tell. This is patty wax SS. And this is just patty wax. This is ja Japanese cherry blossom. It smells very floral, which I love. I love that she blings it, blings her wax. I think it's funny. <laughs> so, there's that. And. Wow. It's okay.
kitty was hungry. Okay. So we're gonna put you on the one and then put you up in the air. Not too much in the air. Okay, there. So, how is everyone doing today? I am just fabulous. Okay. And I got my drills here. I'm considering moving my table again to the other side. I like it better that way. I like is that these come with a foam insert. I don't need the whole case. <coughs> I'll show you what I mean. Ta -da. That's how I use it. So, pick a color. So, a diamond painting tip. I'm going to give you a diamond painting tip. I'm going to get you down in the business first. So, Where's my, oh, here they are. So, see right here, you're, okay, move you over a little bit. So, my tip I'm gonna give you is try to diamond paint closest to what you've already done. So, the color I'm going to be working on right now is the equal sign. That's the color I'm going to be working on. Okay. I don't mind my... I'm going to pick that off. It'll bug me. There we go. I have cats. So, we'll do that. Let me look for the equal sign. And... My tray is coming from NYX over at NYX's Notions. I am going to be doing an order pretty soon, guys. I'm itching. Okay, so let's look for an equal sign. I'm going to zoom you up a little bit so I can move my hand a little bit without hitting. So, we are going to be doing the equal sign, like I said, and I found it. Let me look first to see if that is a color I'm, um, I do have ABs I'm adding to it, if you don't already know. <laughs> so... Equal sign is seven seventy five. Nope, we're good. Okay. So I'm just gonna pour some in a tray. And I should do do show you the shimmy shake. I'm just gonna shake, shake, shake. Her her trays, you really don't have to do a whole lot. I'm itching for a square. attempt this with the so I four placer is my sweet spot see how fast that picked up and ta -da. pretty quick so I will test out the patty wax I multi-place more than I single-place. Um, it just makes it go by so much quicker. And that noise, I miss that noise. So we're gonna attempt it. I'm going to lightly put it in there. Yeah. 
you barely, with the patty wax, you barely have to press down. So, I have a trick I do. You probably just noticed I had skipped these two. So, round, it's a little more difficult <clears throat> to do that with. There we go. Rounds are a little bit more to diff are a little bit more difficult to do these with just because squares are square. You'll see what I mean. Pretty good at putting my drills straight. Then you take do that. I miss diamond painting guys so much um so I am going to South Carolina is it next weekend just a little weekend getaway. My sister-in-law's birthday is uh, that weekend. And so she's play paying for the flights. She wants us to go, so we're going. And my dad lives about a half an hour from Myrtle Beach, so. I'm only doing a half hour, so you'll get about eight minutes of diamond painting from me. Um, another trick I have, if you use release papers, which I do, because unfolding the whole painting is kind of not a good idea. And you notice I only did one row of release papers on my kit. Those <coughs> <coughs> release papers do something to the canvas. Has a reaction to it. <coughs> um, I have used parchment paper. I'm not a fan. So I just stick with release papers. I have washi taped it. I don't, mm -mm, I don't like doing it that way. But I think I am going to do it that way with uh, Jules and Burn because that's the kit I'm doing from Micah Jelena. So, not too bad. It's going pretty quick over here. So, I do one color at a time. I've noticed some people, because they get bored with it they'll switch colors like they would have probably already stopped and gone through and filled in the white no I'm OCD so I do one color at a time so I do I skip a row as rounds are so hard to keep lined up. The whole rock method does not work with me. So, that's pretty much all I have to talk about. Besides retail being all types of ridiculous.
about four more minutes, guys, and I'm going to end it here. I might go ahead and end it now. So guys, I am going to say farewell. I am hoping you enjoyed the video. Hit the like and subscribe button if you like, like my video. And hit the like and subscribe button if you want more videos from Derek with Diamonds. So I am going to say farewell and have a wonderful day. Thank you guys. Bye.